Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Space News Pod. This is a show about SpaceX, NASA, and spaceflight. I'm your host, Will Walden. And on this episode, we're going to be talking about Booster 3. What happened to Booster 3? Remember that thing? It's in the, uh, the launch site at Starbase. Well, let's just say parts of it are in the launch site at Starbase right now. Uh, what's the testing schedule coming up for the next week? Why are they postponing a little bit? And also, uh, what else is going on down there at Starbase that I totally missed today? Because uh, I went down there this morning and I filmed the Booster 3 stuff. And then when I left, about three, four hours later, something else happened. I'll tell you about that in just a minute. But first, let's talk about the road closures coming up. And this indicates that there will be some testing from Starbase on something regarding Starship Super Heavy. So that could be, uh, you know, it could be the Starship itself. It could be a booster, it could be many other things. But one thing that it's not is they're probably not going to be moving anything big in the next few days because the roads down there, Highway 4, which leads to Starbase, Half of the thing is ripped up. I went down there this morning. Half of it's sectioned off. It's not in any way ready to move anything heavy. It wouldn't be stable. It wouldn't be good to do that right now. If they could finish the road in a day, then sure, that would work. But I don't think they're going to get that done. So anything that's at Starbase currently, which is at the Starbase launch site, uh, that's probably what they're going to be testing on. So we have January 12th, 2022, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. That's an all-day thing. January 13th, 2022, 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Very early. Very early. January 14th, uh, 2022, 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Those two were backup dates, the 13th and 14th. So they're already scheduled, but they're really early. And usually when it's really early, and I said this in another video, it's very foggy. It's very hard to see things. But they could be doing testing on, could be doing a cryogenic test. They could be moving uh, some big things around, like Booster 4. They could be moving Booster 4 around on the, on the launch site. Who knows? But they usually don't close the road for a movement. Usually they just pick it up, move it to the new thing. Cars go by and, you know, they go down to the beach. People go down to the beach, come back from the beach, do their thing. But usually a road closure means there's going to be some sort of uh, high test. So maybe a, a cryogenic test of Starship and possibly, but probably not a booster test. And I said this the other day and I'm going to, I'm going to backtrack here because I was wrong. And I'm going to say this right now. I was wrong. I was indicating that maybe the chopsticks were going to be tested, but I was wrong about that. The way that I said it, I said that, you know, if they're going to be testing these chopsticks, if they're going to get them 400 ish feet in the air, then maybe they'll close down the roads for that. Because if something were to happen to those chopsticks, then, you know, something could happen to somebody's vehicle or, you know, something worse. So I'm going to backtrack. I'm going to say, no, that's probably not what they're doing because you know what they did when I was there today, when I was filming booster three today, uh, I got done with that. And a couple hours later, they started moving the chopsticks up. What? <laughs> Let me tell you about Booster 3 for a second. So Booster 3, bye-bye, Booster 3. Booster 3 is getting shredded right now. It's going away. Um, it's going to be scrapped. There's going to be nothing left of it. I saw pieces of it on the ground, and they were heating it up, and they are melting it, and they are bending it so they can move it more easily. Um, maybe that's, they might be doing that, but I don't think they're going to be transporting. They're not going to spend the time to close down a road all day to transport parts of booster three. That doesn't make any sense. So here's some footage of that. And I'll just keep talking while I post some footage of that. And also while you watch this footage, make sure to check out our Patreon. Our Patreon is super important to, uh, continue footage from Starbase and continue the coverage from Starbase. So Check that out. It's as little as a dollar per month. Super cheap. I make it cheap and easy for people to join because I think uh, I, th I just think it's worthwhile. Uh, a lot of cool content over there. So anyway, let's get back into the Booster 3 stuff, 
ripping it apart section by section, crumpling it up. Could they be moving it to the uh, production facility? Sure, they could be, but they'll probably just leave it laying around at the uh, at the launch site for a little while and then move it out eventually because the road it's not in such good shape, but it is possible that they will move it out there if they stabilize it on a truck. Chopsticks. <laughs> I missed it. I missed it. The chopsticks started moving today and I had made it home. I had already filmed that day. And when chopsticks started going up, I heard about it on our discord, which you can check out the link in the description below how to get to our discord and chopsticks started going up and up and up incrementally. And they made it to the top, started lowering it back down again. So the chopsticks looks like it's the highest test of the chopsticks so far. That's really cool. So that means they're not going to be testing it next week in the capacity that I thought they were going to be testing it. They may be doing other lift tests with it, possibly with weights, you know, to kind of put a, a pathfinder in there. That's not Starship, but I can't really see why they would do that. I mean, it would make sense so they don't destroy a Starship. Put a pathfinder in there, maybe SN15, SN16, um, maybe put one of those in there as a Pathfinder, but I don't see them doing that. It doesn't make any sense. Um, so maybe they'll have a, a big block of concrete or something. I don't know what they'd do with that, but it seems like they would try to test it with weight before they move it or before they move a Starship on top of it. That's just my opinion. I think that would make sense. Now, coming up to the next, uh, the next tests. What could we see this next week? We could possibly see an SN20, another static fire. I mean, they had a, they had some uh, issues with some leakage from one of the manholes, uh, one of the access areas down at the bottom, uh, like kind of midway-ish. So they may do another cryo test as well. So we'll see, like, we'll see what they do with that. But they have those few days that they can test on the 12th, 13th, and 14th. Uh, they're all day events, so we'll see how that goes. The last few uh, testing days that they had marked off, they didn't do anything. They didn't close down any roads. So I was down there a lot and I was also some days I was like, well, uh, they're going to be closing the roads. I probably won't be able to get down there. So I'm just going to wait and see. And then I would check out the other cameras and I'm like, oh, the roads are open. Like no one's going down there. <laughs> so it's like no, no cops are stopping people. So might as well go down and get some footage. So you never know with these road closures, if they're actually going to be road closures or not. So we'll see what happens in the next few days, but we do have some inclement weather coming up. So let's touch on that for a minute. The weather on Monday tonight, we're supposed to get thunderstorms here in Brownsville and the uh, South Padre Island area and Boca Chica, Texas Starbase area. Thunderstorms tonight, 80% chance of that. 80% chance of thunderstorms. Monday, we're supposed to be getting showers um, in the morning and then likely showers and breezy in the afternoon. It is supposed to be high of 58 degrees. That's it. And for this area, 58 degrees, it's kind of chilly. So, I mean, the other day it was 65 and I was like, I should probably put on a hoodie. <laughs> right? When I'm talking to my friends back east, and my friends back east are like chipping out ice from their driveways and putting down salt and stuff. And I'm like, OK, I can't really complain about this. This is amazing. So Monday night, slight chance of showers. Tuesday, though, Tuesday, mostly cloudy, 67 degrees. And Wednesday, 72, kind of cloudy. Um, Thursday, sunny. And Thursday night, kind of cloudy-ish. So next week, starting Tuesday, that's when the... Uh, the good times should be start should start rolling. So we have 12th, 13th and 14th for them to test. And the 12th is Wednesday, Thursday and Friday are the test dates for next week. So that's about all I have for today. Uh, so let me know in the comments what you think. Also, give this video a, a quick like if you can. It's free. It's easy. Also, subscribe to the show. Super easy and it's free and it helps support the show more than you'd even know because those things engagement, leaving a comment below, those things are super important to keep the channel going. So thanks everybody for your continued support. This has been the space news pod. My name is Will Walden. 
I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.